Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. So today we are going to carry on and as you can see behind me I have built some more auto hammers. So let's have a quick look at those to start with. So the first thing you see when you put these down you've got two sides. You've got a blue side and a red side. Now blue side is input and the red side is output. So all you need to do is put a couple of chests down here. You see my inventory is a bit full with stuff that's been sieved um, or sluiced. So I'm just going to put these down here. So now if I would like to make some more, uh, in this case I'm making some dust, because we need dust for redstone. Let's just take these out of here. I can't. <laughs> what you can do though is you can compress the items you've got in here. So for example, I've got, if I press K when I'm on any one of these items, it should. Or maybe I need a space to do that. Maybe I need just one space. Let's put something around. Let's put something away. These these rubies are a bit of a pain, ending up with a lot of rubies and a lot of cinnamon. And there's not that much use for these as it happens, but let's just carry on with this. So maybe I can press K now with, without a full inventory exactly. So you, you can press K and then it will get put it will get crafted into into chunk uh, into from chunks to clusters. So, so you can keep doing this, and that actually saves some space. So what I'd like to do today is to start with some. Uh, I don't think you can do it on these sulfur ones because. They don't compress. You have to do this in some blocks of nine. So, for example, if you have a look at the use of sulfur, there's not actually that much use. You can make sulfur dust uh, or you can make these blocks. So let's just craft those away and get rid of some of that. And also with the cinnamon as well, let's do the same with that one. The uses of that, again, it's similar. You might have a use for cinnamon dust, but it, it doesn't seem that it's that. I think they're actually used in the multi servo, so you get actually a block. Is there any use of this stuff? Just for decorations. Uh, I don't see any uses, to be honest. With a look at dust, no, not much. Earth charges, pulverizers. And in fact, there's almost no use. Maybe I just throw these away. Yeah. But for the time being, let's have a look at Let's make them into blocks like this. Maybe we can use them for decoration. Same as it. Uh, Appetite, or in fact, this is not. They can use that for uh, definitely to make some other stuff. Let's just now, oh, where did that disappear? So let's do uses of this one again. Let's put it up. You can see you can make this phyto grow stuff that you need from um for thermal. It says thermal series, but yeah, thermal like basically stuff. So let's put those away. I think they're just ending up in here somewhere. Yes, they are. Look, just, they've got these blocks for this. They didn't actually use that, so let's have a look. I'll leave that into there for the time being, and we'll let's go and smelt up the rest. Oh, I've got some more stuff in here that I don't need either. So let's put these into like this. We'll get three, th three block of twenty-one of these. Again, nitrous is, is not that much use. I don't think it's got much uses for this one. Oh, this one, yeah, maybe we've got again. It's phyto grow stuff, giving you eight. In uh, fact, it should tell us what the oh yeah this will be used and usage of this one will be in the quantum compressing extended crafting. Okay, so it makes fire, something special we haven't got there yet. Anyway, so we'll do that when we get there. So let's put this away like that. Um, and the rubies is the same thing. You can basically make oh that's cinnabar, but, oh that's rubies. Well, I have done with that. It's make a gem cast. So you can make a gem cast by. Um, in here I've got some stuff being smelted so that's fairly good let's go and shove some more into here so we get some actually there's more what's that another tin cluster that should go through or oh, maybe I've run out of yeah maybe I've run out of lava I have yes so I'll just go and fill up the lava uh, I forgot to bucket with me so I've got three buckets which is good because we need four buckets it'll take four buckets one of those tanks Just fill it up. That, and then we can put some more of this into here. So aluminium cluster doesn't go with anything special. Lead, I don't think so. I think it's okay. Titanium, I don't think we can do in here. We'll try it. Oops, I don't need iron in there, do I? And copper and tin, we haven't got any tin in there. Would make bronze. We'll just leave that like that. And then we should those should smelt up and give us some us some more space. So I think a good thing to do next is to make uh, to put into this chest something else. In fact, I've got enough. 
Where are the diamonds here? 22. So we've actually got enough diamonds now to make some proper diamonds. And we've got some emerald chunks as well. So what we can do with the emeralds, we can double those up straight away. So let's do that. So, so you end up with these chunks. And then you can put these into the um, smeltery here. Now let's put them at the end. It shouldn't be able to cast these out, so we can let these run through. Diamonds, on the other hand, we can we can do the same, but we can't use it exactly the same way. So let's make our chunks out of or clusters out of these. So if you have a look at the uses of the clusters, tempered glass we can use it to do it. Squeezer can we we can use to make dust, which isn't so useful. The crusher would make two, so that would be a double or doubling mechanism to start with. Um, industrial foregoing and washing factory will presumably preserve raw meat or which I guess then you can then somehow or other make into I don't know what you can do with it to be done so I'm sure you can cast it into gems it's all like meat but raw meat or but I think it's something else I'll have to look at that some other time because we haven't got that far yet anyway so the, the, the other uses of these are the squeeze we looked at the enrichment chamber the enrichment chamber is actually not that difficult. It's relatively early game mechanism. Osmian ingots and redstone. So we need some more redstone. So actually, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stick these through the. Um, I think was it was it with heat or was it without heat? Let's have a look at the uses of that one. Oh, blue flame. So I can't do that until we've actually got soul sand. Okay, so we have to make soul sand first. Because the blue frame one is this soul campfire. Um, and that's made with sticks, wood logs, and uh, some soul sand. Now, the soul sand we get from, or well, we can either make it from nether essence, which is probably a good way to do it. Um, there's another way to make soul sand. Not the precision sawmill and... Soul sand. Oh yeah. Okay, so we, we need some mob essence and some sand will make some soul sand. But this is no temperature. We can also use Britannia for doing this, but we need a conjuring conjuration catalyst and some soul sand will make some uh, oh it doubles it, okay fine. Okay, so actually then before we have to do it this way. So we have to basically start to build a mob farm. So let's do that. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. Anyway, I've got some quests to collect anyway. So let's do these, as you can see here. What I would like to do is some storage. So, so maybe we'll do some drawers as well. But let's go back to what we've actually got. Mystical Agriculture, we've got some Inferior Essence. We get a random reward for that, which is a Prudentium Broadax Head. And getting started, we completed the automation one here, which gives us another random reward, which is three compressed stone. Actually, that's not bad. We can we can make that. So we'll make use of this because it's handy. So let's put that into this chest. This chest is a bit full. Let's get rid of some of the stuff I don't want. So I'm a bit stuck with diamonds. I thought I could do that today, so I can't. Never mind. Uh, sapphires again are the same thing. Lapis lazuli cl clusters you can put into the squeezer over here like this and jump on them. In fact, it's a very good idea to do, good idea to do this quickly because that and they go into here. So you get 12 lapis lazuli per squeeze, so to speak. Let's get rid of these. Appetite. No, it's full. That's full. Okay, good. Clay. So what I was going to do is make a mob fat. Uh, a mob farm to start with. We can do that sort of hopefully underground. It's actually difficult underground in this place is because the reason it's difficult is there's a lot of water underground. It doesn't have to go down very far before you, you, you might not even be able to reach bedrock and get to, you'll find too much water underneath there. Let's just sort my inventory out. So I wanted to put back the this here. No, wrong one. I wanted it in the chest, didn't I? Where's it gone to? It's behind, this, it's behind this one. I can't see it anymore. So we'll also put the compressed stone in there as well. This this is a, a, this frost melon here always produces snow. So you can knock it off with it with a mattock. Like this. And it, oh, as you saw, it got too straight away. So we can put those into here. 
So I'm making, basically making snowballs, and then we can convert those snowballs to something else. In fact, you can see that it actually does it quite quickly. Oops, I need to pick it up first, don't I? Like that. Like that. So before we do that, I'm going to do some stuff over here, because this is running through. In fact, it's run out of water, as you can see. Zero, zero minutes left. So let's just take out of here. I want some dust, because I need some more redstone. We need more redstone because without it, we're stuck. So let's just take out these two. Oh, I need to do it like this sometime. And then if I take this one out of here, we should, with a bit of luck, start to get dust. If not, I'm going to have to take all of, this, all of the gravel out of here. There we go. So now I can keep this down here, and we should get some more redstone and other, other items that we need. Mm. In fact, I think it's mostly redstone that we want at this time. We also get gunpowder and other metals. So we need the mob souls. That's the important bit that we need for this. So I'm going to let run it up to about two minutes, and then we should carry on. As you can see, two minutes is is about uh, 120 buckets of water. In fact, it's exactly 120 buckets of water. So now. Put this, put, put the gravel back in this chest over here. Like that. And have a look in here, give this a sort, make sure we've got everything compacted as much as possible. So we should also be getting, we've got inferior essence, we should also be getting some um, prosperity shards. I think prosperity shards come from gold with um, that. So let's go down and make a mob spawner. I'll tell you what. I shall be down there. I shall do this and and be back in a second. Well, the titanium clusters didn't smelt, but um, I have actually got in this chest here a yes, I've got a gem cast. So we can put the gem cast here and replace it with the the ingot cast. And in here we've got the smelted um, one block and three gems of emeralds. So we can then simply turn that off on, and it will actually make for us. Emeralds, so we should end up with about 12, I think, because we had six to start with, didn't we? So as you can see, those are making emeralds, which is great, because we need those for storage stuff. So let's get on and make this. I'm going to make some half oak drawers, two by twos to start with. We'll get four of those. This completes a quest, but what I'd really like to do is to make the actual four by four one. So let's make two sets of these. But the big ones, you know, so we have a... And I need some planks like this, and this will make some oak drawers two by two because they they take quite a lot of stuff, but not that much stuff. So, what we also would like to possibly make is let's have a look at the recipe for storage drawers. So, I think that some two by twos would also be sensible. So, I'll click those into place, we can make two of those. Uh, yep. And then we've run out of... No, we haven't actually run out of it yet. I think we've run out of planks. So let's make some more planks. Because we also need to make probably around about four standard storage drawers. So let's do those as well. I haven't quite got enough. No mind. Well, this will do to start with. But we'll also make a draw controller. Because we can do that as well. Um, can we do that now? Maybe we can. Hopefully we've got enough redstone. <laughs> Thinking about it. Yes, we've got 12 redstone, 12, 12 redstone clusters. That's good. And then we can do these as well. So let's get these crafted into place. Let's put in those. We should get three of these. And then we can then put these three into, into, the, into the squeezer here. And that will give us a reasonable amount of redstone. Come on it. And I think it's done as soon as you get that. So we've got 12 of those. That's right. So we stand off it. Put the next one in. Jump up on it again. Keep going. Oops. Missed. Try again. So that'll give us enough redstone. In order to make um, 22 that time. So I didn't quite get as, as many as I wanted. We've got 20. I think we're guaranteed 8, aren't we? So 12 is very good. So there we go. So we've got 34 redstone, good. Let's put that into here. Now we can make some pistons. If 
we've got enough cobblestone. I've got plenty of cobblestone on me. Let's have a look. Oh, I need some more planks. Let's make some more planks. How many are we going to make? Let's take 16 out because it'll make a full stack of planks. And I should probably not do so much as that because then it'll fill up the chest and we've got any space for it all. So well, let's put those. Okay, and then we can put this back in the chest here. So now we should be able to make up the where is it now? I would like to get the compacting drawers as well. So draw controller. Oh, uh, we can't do that yet. <clears throat> Mr. Comprise, we need uh, and diamonds. We're a bit stuck for that one, but we should be able to make some compacting drawers. Like that. So we can simply make some pistons. Let's shift. Let's have a look at that. Yes, we can make pistons. Let's get that ready. I'm losing, I'm losing the position of where things are. Right, compacting drawers. So we need some pistons. 15. Actually, I'm going to make all 15. And then because we're going to need pistons for all sorts of things anyway. So that's compact, compacting drawers. How many of these can we make? I would like that's a solid oak drawers. This is what we make the half the half drawers for. Oops. Where did I put those here like this? I've only made two, so maybe I should make some more of those recipes. But you did complete a quest. Uh, what am I missing? Ah, oh, some stone. All right, okay, well, I've got some stone being cooked over here, so we've got a bit of stone now, so we should be able to make another two of these, I hope. Yeah, it wants to make... Actually, we'll make three. We'll make three. Uh, uh, and I'll make two, because we've got two of these drawers here like that. So let's go and put these down over here somewhere. And then we, can, and then we can put down some of these single drop actually those are not those let's put the single ones down next that's two by two that's right yes oh they are two by two must be going must have been missing the ones i wanted uh oh, these must be four these are the four draw ones which are good as well right so we can now take some stuff out of here uh, very soon actually let's get rid of this stuff this this nitrate and stuff like that is, and ruby crystals, and all of these are filling it up quite nasty, quite badly. And I reckon that we could be able to put that into there. Yes, we can, good. And that compresses it automatically. Um, so we should simply just be able to right click that. Now we should empty our inventory, inventory out of rubies. Let's do the same thing, rubies. And what else have we got? Cinnabar. And appetite. Yeah, I need some more for some uh, sapphires. For the time, we'll put them in here like that. What else do we need to get rid of? We've got plenty of iron. Oh, cinema, did that not go in? Right, it didn't go in. Must have I've got, you've got to hit the right, exactly the right place. And we'll also take some inferior essence out of here, uh, appetite ore. And then we're getting this raw uranite, or however it's pronounced, dense and Raw. And maybe we can put those into some compacting drawers as well. For the time being, I'm going to put the cinnabar there. Because I'm pretty sure that these ones here, if you look at the recipe for these, is is simply these things combined together. So maybe with this, we should be able to make... I'll try it. We'll, we'll build another compacting drawer at some stage. Okay. Now we can sort this out. And then I did see here I've got some block of... Some stuff and some sapphires. Let's get rid of these. Oh, that's sapphires. That's oh, they did go good. Um, and this one here. So we've got rid of some of the stuff that we don't need in here. So by this time, I needed to do something else. Well, that's a bit extra. I've got cleared out my inventory bit. So what we need to do next, as I've got this was not complete, was it? I can't remember what I was trying to do with that one run out of materials anyway so what we're going to do next is to make um, some spikes so spikes well, there are th there's four different types I think we've got wooden spikes so this is actually a, this is a quest so we'll do these as well so let's just I need some planks I thought I had enough planks and now I haven't so just, 
take a stack of planks and a bit more that won't be a problem so we wanted some wooden spikes so we need three swords don't need 13 three will be fine <laughs> um, what these will do is actually take the the health of a of a of a being down to about half a heart and then you can kill it manually an entity or whatever so that's all and that looks not what I wanted to do. What's that one? Cover. Wooden spikes. Okay, I want to make this one up. We should be able to do that now. And that should complete a quest. And the next one along here is iron spikes, which actually do kill mobs quite nicely. So we'll do these as well. Again, I don't want to, I don't want ten, I want three of these swords. And then we can make up the iron spikes. I need a block of iron, that shouldn't be a problem. So here we have uh, some iron spikes. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with these. I'll also make a hopper while I'm doing, thinking about this. Have we got any more chests around? I think I've probably run out of chests. I don't mind. Make a quick couple of chests here. And we'll use one of those to make a hopper. And we've got a chest to put the stuff into. That's good. So what? What I've done is down here is I've built an area. I got lucky. I say I got lucky is because I managed to dig out this area without any um, water. Quite often you get water in here. So what I'd like to do is to put down, say, a um, some spikes here, a hopper here. Let's put down a hopper here and then put the chest into this hopper. So we, every, all the drops will come into this hopper here like this just um, that way and let's put the hopper down facing it doesn't matter that I've got it facing the wrong direction so to speak and still do it like this so then we're going to have some spikes and if I put the spikes down here we've got two sets of spikes like let's just take out these two bits and we'll put the two sets of spikes one down one side here that doesn't matter very much where the mobs will actually come into here because I did do some testing oops yeah that's right I did do to some testing on this to make sure it worked what I'm going to also do is put in a doorway so I can get in and out without having to to come in every single time so we'll just to put a doorway in down here like this oh wrong, wrong tool where's the pickaxe that's one we should be able to go across to our stairs here. Oh, I can't go into my stairs. I have to go down through here like that. And then we can go through our stairs. And what I'll do is I'll make some iron doors. I think that's a sensible thing to do. We need a lever as well, of course, because we won't be able to get in and out of the the, the doors until we've got a lever. So let's make the lever. Uh, and some iron doors. Fairly simple. I've got plenty of iron, so I'm not, too, I'm not being skimpy on it. If we put the iron doors facing this way, oh, I need to put a lever on here first. So let's just put break away this one block here. Okay, and then we put a lever on here and activate it. Probably don't need to activate it at this stage, but you know. Put the door down like that. Then the, when we close the door, it should be inside like this yeah that's what the way i wanted it to work so it's inside so we can have a look in there and we could possibly do stuff um and then all i need to do now is to remove these torches we'll do like this yeah we'll just put down some slabs down here i've got some slabs prepared so so then it's possible for me to grind the mobs if i put a slab down here i can get to their feet here like this so all then we need to do is put some stone blocks in front of this or cobblestone whatever i've got we stone to keep it looking pretty we'll put a stone block down there and then they can't get to us and all we need to do now is to remove the torches and we should get mob spawning this is actually a seven by seven area and the reason it's seven by seven is because oh it's a bit light in this corner i have to sort that out remove this torch here uh maybe we put it somewhere else i just have a look actually there's nothing everything's lit up everything's great that's that's good so we'll come back here in a minute and see what actually happens we should be able to hear the mobs as well so anyway let's i've got finished with my diamonds now so emeralds so let's get these 
How do you feel like that? And what else I've got to smelt up? I thought I'd got some more iron. I've got some more iron to smelt up. So get that done. So the next thing to do was to make some... We needed some more bessons, don't we? Um, I'll tell you what, I'll be back in a second. When, as soon as something's happened. Well, my mob spawner is a bit of a dead loss. Didn't spawn any mobs. Maybe I'm not being patient enough. So I've built another one over here. So over here, I've done the same similar thing. But instead of going down, you, should, you see here, the spikes are here. I haven't put the hoppers there yet, and just in case it doesn't work. So we'll see, And because I think it was too close. I need to be at 24 blocks away at least. <clears throat> and I think that's about here, so when I'm working here, it's fine. So the next thing we're going to do is look at, we'll make, you need to make some clay. So here we've got some clay here. So what I'm going to do is put some sand and some uh, gravel in here like this, and then we're going to make some clay. Very fast as it happens, we can do this quite quickly. So... And each time we do it, we're getting 32 clay. Yes, we're getting 32 clay. So I'll keep run, running this like that. And I've run out of resources. In fact, what I've run out is water. Water's no big deal. We've got a, we've got a, a water source here, so I can I can basically fill it up any time I want. Right, like that. In fact, we could actually go and next time we'll do something else with this. So in here, we've got four stacks of clay, which is great. Because the next thing I'm going to do is to make some bonsai hopper pots or what is the equivalent today. So let's have a look at those um, pots. I think we're called pots. We can, yes, here we go. So a botany pot. We make botany pots with some terracotta and some flower pots. Terracotta is just cooked clay, so we'll make some clay. Um, I think we can do that anyway. So let's do that because I've got 64 of these. Let's do, um, actually, let's do 64. Cook those up. So we can then put those into, into here like this. Into one of these. And the other ones can go into here. That's 16. Actually, I'm cooking those already. And with this one, I'll put in the rest of those 64. And let them cook through. So then we should be getting some terracotta. I've already cooked up, I hope some ordinary clay to make some pots. I might not have done as it happens, in which case I'll have to do that and come back. Uh, check, in the, check in here, it's probably the best place to check. No, I don't think I did. I, I prepared it and I didn't actually cook it up. I think I was waiting for you to be here. So I've got 26, probably 27 would be a good number to cook up. Um, I've also got plenty more furnaces, so I'm going to put another two down here. On top of that, those two. We can then split this out here. I've got plenty of um, charcoal in there. So let's just do those. 26, I want to make, take away two. That'll be 24. That'll be the exact number. Um, and we'll make some more clay. So I've got 23 of these in here. Anyway, the, another good thing to do probably with this is to make some... That'll probably do for now. 32 of those, yeah. So we can put 32 in the other one. 34. Somebody that sounds like they're drilling, just trying to have me bonkers. There we go. Take half of those out there. 16, and then put that up there. And then we can get these cooking as well. Charcoal. So these are all cooking up now. So we've got some terracotta here, uh, and some terracotta there. And then we'll, we'll do some more, ter getting some bricks in here. And then we can make the flower pots. We'll just, no, why are they getting there? So we'll make the flower pots up. So basically it's just like that, some flower pots. And then we can put that in the middle of here like this. It's just a hopper of, and that gives a, a botany pot. Not so much use by themselves, but if we put a hopper beside them like this, we get a hopper botany pot. Uh, very useful. So let's make some more chests. Like that'll make 32 chests. We're going to need them. I'm not going to be skimp on those either. Because the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to make some trees. We're going to get some trees farming. Uh, chests are just as good as anything else. I, I can't. Then you'll get everything into it. So let's go and do that first of all. Now you're thinking with hoppers. Very good. So instead of having to chop these trees down all the time, let's just put them down here. Let's put a, half of these down here. Press shift, 
and you can just put your hoppers there, your chest down like that. In fact, I'll just do them in the row for, to, to start with. We'll do that like that. And then we'll put the first one on top of this. You have to be careful what you're actually going to... Each one of these is particular as to what you put on it, in it. So at the moment, there's nothing in this. So should we just put some dirt in that one? Let's go and get some dirt. Plenty of dirt around. Uh, 46. For trees, it's no problem. We can put this into here like this. So there's now dirt in there. You can't quite see it. And then we can put a tree in there and just let it run. That'll do fine. We can probably do the same things for this as well. So let's just take... Uh, because I'm getting fed up of basically chopping these things down all the time. Carrots, yeah. So what have we got there? Some carrots, we get some potatoes. No, they're not grown up yet. Or are they? Yes, one potato. So I'll just do one of each. So I'll make some more popper pots and I'll be back in a second. So these are actually working just nicely. And we're just starting to get some stuff in these. Not haven't, haven't been in this very long now. So we've got four potatoes, some carrots. Oh, we've actually got some industrial hemp. And we've got some cotton. Actually, quite a lot of cotton, considering I've only just planted them. And in here, we've actually got some... Um, I've actually got a mob in here. So you can see here I've got some drops. So let's go around here and uh, open this. In fact, there's a spider in here. It's just up there. So let's just attack him with it. Oddly enough, the hacks is as good as any like that so we can then go and collect up the stuff we've got here so i can well i might as well put in some hoppers into here and i want this one that's the one i want oh there's a bat so close it off and then we can maybe i put a hopper down so maybe i put a hopper underneath it might be the best thing to do and then it might catch the the drops from there so let's just do that i'll be back in a second with a hopper so I put the hopper down here and I had to pick up the wooden spikes. But you can shift click those ones up and no problem whatsoever. Um, so now we can replace this. I've got a, I've got a, just a plank in here. So let's just get rid of this this plank and we should be able to then reach the hopper like that. Maybe I'll just put down a stone slab if I've still got one with me. Yes, I have. Just underneath here like that. And that'll stop preventing any spawning. So I can get at the hopper, no problem. Right, um, in fact, I need to put down another piece of stone here, don't I? Let's put a slab into that, then I can get to the hopper. I think, and then I'll replace this for um, for a chest. So now we have actually got our first two mob souls. And the use of those is we can turn those with some heat into, into a liquid. In fact, we get one bucket's worth of mob souls. We'll do that next time. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time we should be carrying on. And so until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.